Hi there Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your August 1st through the 15th love reading. This is for Pisces. Thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, commenters, and likes. I really appreciate that. Now, if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon sign or your rising sign or both. And then again, just remember that this may or may not resonate with all of you because it's, you know, it's not supposed to. It will resonate with who it's supposed to resonate with. And some piece, pieces of it may resonate and some may not. So this is for uh, Pisces, August 1st through the 15th. Love. This is intended to be a love reading. Power and control. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's keep going. Caution. Oh, geez. Maybe there's, you know, there's some um, things being said at the beginning of the month. You now this is the first and second, between the first and the third. Some things are happening or being said that are causing you to have your guard up. You know, like, hmm, I'm not sure about you. Now, this is a... Uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius can be any other sign, but somebody who has um, no tact, but they are very honest, okay? Very honest, probably very uh, sexy, but they don't have a lot of tact, and they may be causing you to have your guard up and to not trust them for some reason. It's a little bit sketchy, put it that way. Now, you may have a choice. So you may be thinking about two people. We have the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Then we have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Completely different person. This one is more mouthy. This one is more quiet. This one is more grounded. This one is more um, emotional. Um, this one has their wits about them. This one does not. Um, this one um, acts impulsively. This one does not. This one is more fun. This one is not. So, you know, good, good for you. <laughs> you know, it's got to be on one, one, one end of the spectrum to the other. It looks like you're definitely looking for love and you have the opportunity for love. It looks like you have the opportunity for a lot of happiness. We have pentacles here twice. You could be leaning towards the earth sign. Uh, can't, <laughs> if I can talk, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo because we have that twice. And it looks like, you know, it's slow and steady. It's more practical, more responsible, more reasonable. And that, and you know, surrounding this happiness is this earth sign. This person may be causing some havoc. You know, there may be more of a sexual attraction. Just saying. They're if it's a, this is a Libra and this is a Taurus. They're both ruled by Venus, so they're both beautiful. If it's the other signs, they're still beautiful, but you know. Um, Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus, the ruler of love and beauty and art. But let's keep going. This is for Pisces, August 1st through the 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. Whew, perhaps you've had some crises or some crises with this um, Earth sign in the past, which has affected your happiness. And now... I mean, maybe you feel lost without them. Maybe there is somebody from the past or somebody that you have your eye on and you are so magnetically connected to them that you feel lost without them. Or there was a lot of conflicts with them in the past. Um, here you are, again, with the earth sign over here. It's not over here. This earth sign, maybe they offered you happiness and contentment in the past, but, you know, now there's a big loss. Um, and 
over here, this person might be wanting to offer you some security and stability, but you're just not comfortable with it. You're not comfortable with it, so you might be letting it die because you're just not comfortable with it. You just don't dare to take a risk. Probably, you know, you're, this risk is connected to this earth sign of practicality. You know, it just doesn't seem like it's practical to you. Mm. Oh, there's the Taurus I was looking for. It's funny that how that stuff happens. Now this can this is a this is a Taurus, but it's also it is also a teacher and it's also about doing the right thing for you and following your own path and not caring about what anybody thinks and taking a risk. Look at this. This this crow was looking at this this um, chick or whatever it is and saying, ah, I could eat you right up. And you know that. You know that. Okay. Something is blocking you from taking this risk. You're worried about it. You're definitely worried about it. You're worried about... Uh, I think you've had some massive heartbreak over this earth sign. And now you're scared to take a risk because of it. Maybe you have some regrets. Maybe... Maybe you were too strong with this person. Maybe you were too powerful. Maybe you enforced too much power. Or you spoke out of line or something. You know, there's so many different scenarios. This could be for so many different people. So you got to take what you can get out of it. This is going to resonate certain pieces with certain people. Um, but here, you know, this is about following your own path, doing what's right for you, listening to your intuition, um, and definitely listening to your intuition because you really want that happiness back that was probably lost with this earth sign could be another sign if it's another sign it's somebody who's very practical they're slow in their approach they're calm they're gentle they are very um homey okay they like to they're very um earthy you know they're they're not as outgoing as the other signs okay Oh, it looks like they, they definitely could fulfill your wishes and bring you a lot of happiness. And you've been going through a crisis. Maybe you've been waiting for them and waiting for them and it just feels like it. you're totally lost without them. It's connected in every way. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Happiness, you, complete loss, wishes fulfilled. I mean... <laughs> That's what it is. It looks like you may have lost somebody that you can't get out of your mind. You know, and it's killing you. Um, and you probably have some regrets. Maybe not. Let's see, are you going to let this person go? Nine of Wands. <sighs> no, you're still worried. You're still, still like, I can't get over this. <laughs> what next? This person you don't trust. If it's not you, if this isn't you taking on this energy, it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius who wants to uh, offer you security, or it was you searching for security over love, and now you have some regrets, and now you are very wounded over the whole situation. It's just like, oh my god, um, I just, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's very wishy-washy. It's just like, pessimistic. You're being very pessimistic about your future. You're not thinking positive. Definitely not thinking positive. August 1st through the 15th. <laughs> Luckily, towards the end, towards the 15th, you do have some love to give and perhaps, you know, here we have this a new welling of, our, of emotion or you have some dream or something, a vivid dream that says, okay, I want my 
your wishes fulfilled. I want my wishes fulfilled. You know, whatever loss this was, you know, I need to find a way to get past it. You have a lot of rainbows here. So there is a lot of, you know, somewhere over the rainbow, there is love. There is love. But you have been wounded. Wounded. And it may be, maybe you're feeling a little cold hearted because of how wounded you've been. You're feeling like, you know what, I don't even know. You do want love deep down. You want to be loved. Here we have Taurus. And it's like you're you're watching them out of one eye. It's like you're just like, Phew. I just don't know what to do. Should I take a risk or not? Should I take a risk and offer them some love? It could fulfill your wishes. But what if it doesn't? Oh my God. Oh, shit. You could miss an opportunity. You could. I mean, you could miss an opportunity based on your fear. Looks like you're pretty darn worried about being rejected. You know, because you're worried about, this is the Four of Cups. This is about missing an opportunity. Missing an opportunity in love because you're so pessimistic. You know, and you're so scared of rejection that you don't dare to offer it. You don't dare to take a risk. What if this person screams at you or box at you or totally shuts you down? Oh my God. Yee, protect me. I could be wrong. This will not resonate with all of you. I know how strong you are, Pisces. I know how strong you are and I know how you can turn those emotions right off and not care. But the fact of the matter is you really do, you really do care and you do want to take a risk and you do want to offer some love and you do want to have your wishes fulfilled. Okay? You do want happiness. But you may not seek it because you're so worried about rejection. Now, this is for August 1st through the 15th. What advice can we give to Pisces for these two weeks of August? What advice can we give to Pisces? You have this one twice, so it's a very big energy for you. And remember what I, my question was? What advice can we give to Pisces? Now, this is the Nine of Cups. Your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Let go of any past rejection. Let go of any past regret. Okay? Your wishes will come true if you, you know, or let them, if you take a risk. Take a risk. Don't be scared of that crow. You against them? Who's going to win? All right. Your wishes come true. A love of life. Concerns fade away. When this card comes out, the worst is over. You can only go up from here. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords right next to each other. Major completions. You have the potential to reach happiness after a very difficult time. Probably with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Could be another sign, but whoever it is, they're very practical. Okay, and they can definitely, I mean, your wishes have potential to be filled. There she is, or he. 
There's the Taurus Capricorn or Virgo again. My God, that's so prominent for you. So, so, so. Earth sign. Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. That's a man or a woman. Don't worry about that king. That means nothing. Okay. Generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Do not be afraid. This guy goes in slow and steady. He's very practical. Now, this is an energy that you need to take on while knowing that this is most definitely an earth sign. If it's not an earth sign, somebody who has strong earth in their chart, in their moon sign or their ascending or their Venus or something, you know, they have strong earth in their chart because it's, I would be willing to bet it's an earth sign that you could be in love with or have new love with. Okay. Three of Pentacles, the power of creativity. How do you get to this person anyway? You have the power to create anything. You are very creative. Probably one of the most creative signs in the zodiac. Um, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. <laughs> Talk to this person, communicate, collaborate, work together, work it out. If you want to work something out with somebody, go for it. That's your advice. That's what I asked for was advice. We're going to get a couple of these romance angel cards and see what comes up for love for Pisces. Oh my God, you definitely need to tell this person. This is so true express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture do it take a risk do it your wishes will come true unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going That would be with this person up here, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or yourself, the power and control, the relationship with your security and abundance, you know, the relation, this is, that's what this is, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going on your own, by yourself. Okay, that's what this is about. Or with this this other person who you're very wary about, if it's if it's not you, it's another person who is tact not very tactful, you know. And there, somebody has said some things, and it's either you or this person who is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius who has really like said some things that has put your guard up and made you think, "Whew, not even so sure about this shit." Or it's you that is. Um, you may have have some regrets right here you may have some regrets over some um, nasty words that were said um, that caused some crisis with this earth sign one more should you not miss the opportunity and offer some love and take a risk and not be so scared okay Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Communicate, communicate, communicate. It could lead to this. This is a new welling of emotion. This also means pay attention to your dreams. It's a very dreamy, loving, charming, beautiful energy. Okay? Your dreams are telling you something. Your thoughts are telling you something. Okay? Because you're so intuitive anyway. Pay attention to your dreams. All right? So, Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you would, um, if you want to subscribe, I would love that. And I will talk to you soon. Just remember that this may or not may or may not resonate with everybody. Um, and only sometimes, only little pieces do. You never know. This is for hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands. <laughs> So there's no way that it could possibly resonate all of it with everybody because we are all different. So thank you for watching me and I will talk to you soon.